In this issue of Video Fashion News, it's all about the 70s. We look at designers who turned to the disco age for runway inspiration. In New York, Renee Bishop looks to an iconic 70s institution to inspire her spring 2022 runway for Deity. Studio 54, so bringing back 70s glam and mixing it with a little modern twist. Fendi Artistic Director Kim Jones also looked to Studio 54 for spring, as well as the work of famed fashion illustrator Antonio Lopez. See the highlights from the Milan runway show, then rewind the clock one decade for Karl Lagerfeld's spring 2011 collection for the Italian house. I thought the Fendi collection was great. It really tapped into this 70s feeling that we're seeing for spring. Helen Anthony embraces the spirit of individuality for the label's London runway, while 70s power dressing inspires Shiatsi Chen's fall collection. Plus, step into the video fashion archives to meet a fashion legend who rose to prominence in the 70s, supermodel Iman. Uh, you know, fashion is, uh, is my life and, you know, is, is where really gave me the name and uh, the opportunity and all that. All that and more on Video Fashion News. Makeup, we're going very diffused, very clean as far as uh, skin goes. We're doing a nice, bright, springy uh, blush, uh, a little bit of coral, a little bit of pink, a little bit of orange, just depending on skin tone. And we're uh, taking it over the eyelid, diffusing it up onto the temple and the high cheekbone. That's one look. And then the other look is a little bit of Sophia. It's a very beautiful, like, cat eye, but a little bit more angular, a little bit more modernized. Clean, clean skin on that look as well, and a soft peach lip. Going with clean lines, center partings, uh, very sleek hair, and we want it moist on the mid lengths and ends. Today we're using Living Proof. Mostly we're using the Frizz Vanishing Oil on the ends to keep it nice and moist, and then we're using the Flexible Hold Spray just to keep the flyaways down on the top, um, and then a little bit of the Control Spray on the edges, and then just to finish off. Studio 54, so bringing back 70s glam and mixing it with a little modern twist. So we did a lot of transformable pieces and a lot of um, contrast stitching. We did a lot of dresses uh, and also a lot of jackets as well, which we specialize in. So we did like a full blown ready to wear collection where we featured a lot of um, new design styles as well and pretty much just reintroducing ourselves to the world. So for this collection, I actually used a lot more knits than I normally do because I've been on like a whole wool obsession, but COVID kind of woke me up to comfort, but still keeping comfort sexy and chic. So I used a lot of knits. Um, we used a lot of silks um, as well too, some silk acetates, but still um, some cottons, but mainly just like a lot of lighter fabrics. Our color palettes were like a lot of warm, like neutrals, um, blacks. Um, experiment with sequins. This was my first time ever working with sequins. I decided to do something a little bit more like lively and also a little sexy and chic. So that was pretty fun. Um, and then also we used a lot of emeralds and greens and then even limes, which I thought was a fascinating color to kind of bring into the season.
A favorite piece? These pants. <laughs> These pants that we ended up walking in like sage green, but I had to wear them in black because that's my style. Yeah. I want them to know that every time they put in the garments that they walk out feeling like on top of the world and like a goddess, like a deity. Bold, fierce, and unapologetic. Fendi's artistic director Kim Jones looked to New York's legendary 70s disco Studio 54 for a glamorous spring 2022 collection. The Milan runway channeled empowered femininity and the optimistic spirit of the 1970s. Graphic lines made a bold statement on clean tailoring and fluid dresses. An opening color palette of white and black was followed by warm earth tones in graphic prints and vivacious pastels that recalled the 70s. Jones paid tribute to the influential fashion illustrator Antonio Lopez, incorporating the late artist's illustrations into select pieces. A bold and optimistic collection for spring from Kim Jones at Fendi. It was the idea of a woman 
walking in Rome in a beautiful uh, summer day during sunset because those colors are bright colors seen during sunset when everything is softened. Huh? And that is the idea of Italy, what can be perceived and understood all around the world as a message from Rome, from Italy, because I think it's important that uh, Fendi keeps this Italian flavor. Fendi was softened. It was. It was. A, there was a lot of pretty in there. There was um, a lot of kind of peasant references that were beautiful. The accessories, the handbags, were superb. Probably one of the best season handbag seasons that she's had this um, in a long time. I thought the Fendi collection was great. It really tapped into this 70s feeling that we're seeing for spring, and um, but kind of in a different way. I really liked the volume through the sleeves. There were these lantern-shaped sleeves, if you can imagine that, and um, and also the longer lengths and the really sort of sporty-looking belts and handbags. And what is also very important is that the handbags, the shoes, and the belt add another color touch. And I wouldn't say one color, but if you look at the bag, they are done in five, six different colors and five, six different materials. And they are not matching colors for the dresses. They are colors sometimes you don't expect to go together, but without being pretentious, I have the feeling it worked. There are many details, in fact. The shapes may look simple, but in fact there are many details. I like the new arm, the larger arm, kind of a bell sleeve. I thought that was quite interesting. And I love the use of color and the larger, longer silhouette I thought was quite lovely and um, relaxed silhouette. I think that that was uh, quite appealing and I think a lot of, and a lot of uh, customers will enjoy wearing those pieces. And I like the ease of it, you know. The cuts are all geometrical, but it's in the soft fluid material you can move and it gives a very relaxed attitude. It was just, it was fresh, it was cotton, and there was this wonderful sort of burnt flame pattern. It was like a love letter that had been thrown in the fire, and then it was used as a print around the um, edges of the hems. And the, I like the three-tone shoes and very, very bright colors. Life should be uh, uh, happy, if, you, if it can be happy. Uh, there are enough auras going uh, on around the world uh, that it was time to make a happy collection and there was also enough beige. Yeah. Designer Naeem Anthony embraced self-expression and individuality in his spring 2022 collection for Helen Anthony. The 1970s served as inspiration for the season. Anthony dedicated the collection to the diversity and individualism of London, and the label's eclectic avant-garde spirit shone on the runway. The collection was offered in a wide range of colors and textiles. Tailoring was elevated with interesting textures and patchwork.
revealing pieces in translucent fabrics were ready for a night out at the club or the disco. an individualistic and inclusive collection from Helen Anthony. At the 2010 CFDA Awards, the Fashion Icon Award was bestowed on supermodel and successful entrepreneur, Iman. David Bowie, Amon's rock star husband for more than two decades, was there in support of his eternally elegant wife. Oh, it feels great. I, I keep on saying it's really good for the ego. You know, I'm 55 years old. I've been in the business almost over 30 years. And so to get this at this stage in my life is just really great. A native of Somalia, Iman started modeling in 1976 after being discovered by photographer Peter Beard. Video Fashion spoke to her about the early days of her career back in 1984. Yes, actually very well. My third day in New York, I did a, a Holston show. It was my first show and my last for four years. I didn't touch shows because I was so scared. And he had these three rooms that were all filled with mirrors. And um, so my main worry first were two things. Uh, the mirrors, you know, to walk into them. And high heels, because I never wore heels before in my life. So I, uh, I walk into one room, do a little turn around as I could, wobbling, <laughs> got to the second room, <laughs> did another, got to the third room, my turn, and I thought there was a fourth room, and bang, into a mirror. <laughs> so there it was, you know. <laughs> then for four years, I, I said, no way, I can't do shows. Mm -hmm and just did print, 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 and, um, and then one time a friend of mine just argued with me about the print girls don't know how to do shows because, you know, it needs possess, it needs stage presence. And I said, no, we could, you know, any print girls could do it. He said, no. So he betted money with me. And I said, well, okay, actually, let's even make it better. Um, I'll bet you I can do the, one of the biggest shows in New York, and that woman's word, the other one is not going to only write about the design, but they're going to write about how well I did. He said, okay, fine. It was my first Calvin Klein show, and they sure did write about me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Her success as a model gave rise to a new career as a businesswoman. She launched Iman Cosmetics in 1994, and as of 2012, it is a $25 million a year business. In fashion, you know, it's really fast and furious. Um, but, you know, I've also been a businesswoman. I've been a CEO of my own company, Iman Cosmetics, for all this time. But as I said, uh, you know, fashion is, uh, is my life and, you know, is, is where really gave me the name and uh, the opportunity and all that. And extraordinary amount of people I've met in this business that have been kind and generous and extraordinary talent that have really brought the talent out of me. So yeah, it's a, it's a collaborative effort. Fashion is definitely a collaborative effort. Designer Chen Xiai Xia had 70s power dressing on the mind for her fall 2021 collection for Xiaqi Chen. Influenced by the idea of a journey through time, the Taiwanese designer delivered a collection that was elegant and timeless with a rebellious spirit.
pieces played with contrasting colors and textures. Delivering her version of power dressing, the designer offered clean pants and skirts alongside embellished decorative dresses and tops. a cool and modern collection for empowered women from Shiatsi Chen. The intoxicating spirit of the 1970s inspired KGL's Psychedelic Fall 2022 collection, which was revealed at New York Fashion Week. Pop art was merged with the flower child aesthetic for a gender neutral collection that was psychedelic and provocative. That's a wrap for this issue of Video Fashion News. Tune in next time for another fashion experience.